Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 18th of May. Great to have you join us, uh, whether you're a regular uh, part of the church family or you've just stumbled over this channel or somebody's passed you on a link. Welcome. I hope you find our morning services helpful as just a way of framing the day and I guess starting and offering the day actually to God. Uh, so great to have you with us. We're going to simply just follow morning prayer from the Church of England's Daily Prayer app. And we just follow a very simple liturgy. Uh, so great to have you with us. If you've got the app, then maybe download it and join in with the responses um, as you feel comfortable. Right, shall we just pause and offer this time to God? O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. So blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. So the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. as we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our appointed psalm is, well, there's a couple, there's 65 and 67, but we'll just do the one of them. So we'll just do, actually, they're slightly longer, we'll do 65. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. To you that answer prayer shall vows be paid. To you shall all flesh come to confess their sins. When our misdeeds prevail against us, you will purge them away. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. We shall be satisfied with the blessings of your house, even of your holy temple. With wonders you will answer us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation, a hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. In your strength you set fast the mountains and are girded about with might. You still the raging of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the clamour of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth tremble at your marvels, the gates of the morning and the evening sing your praise. You visit the earth and water it, you make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare grain for your people, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. You soften the ground with showers and bless its increase. You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths overflow with plenty. May the pastures of the wilderness flow with goodness, and the hills be girded with joy. May the meadows be clothed with flocks of sheep, and the valleys stand so thick with corn that they shall laugh and sing. So I refrain. Be joyful in God, all the earth. May the richness of your creation, Lord, and the mystery of your providence lead us to that heavenly city 
where all peoples will bring their wealth, forsake their sins and find their true joy, Jesus Christ our Lord. So glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Uh, if you wish to join in with our Old Testament reading, uh, then pause, and it's uh, Numbers chapter 16, verses 1 to 35. So that's Numbers 16, 1 to 35. But I tend to skip over the Old Testament, not because it's not important, because it is, um, but just for brevity and keeping this service reasonably short. So I'm going to skip forward and just go straight to our New Testaments, which is Luke 6. 27 to 38. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those, if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for He is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. What a beautiful text. What a wonderfully challenging text. Um, I think sometimes we water down really what we think actually Christian living is. And we presume that actually somehow if we're nice enough or good enough, then those who watch and observe the church as will want to come and join this thing we call church. You know, if we live like that, as we've just read and we've just heard, then yeah, that will be attractive. That will be attractive. And people will want to know why you live so differently, so radically differently. I think for many, we just live actually pretty much exactly the same as the rest of society, just a little bit nicer. Actually, it's not about being nice. It's about being radically different. So I encourage you, go back and reread this Luke 6, 27 to 38. And just allow the Holy Spirit to just illuminate something, to challenge us about our conduct, our lifestyle at times. Not that it's about not being nice, because I'm sure many of us are nice, but it is that radical difference. So tell you what, shall we pray? Father, when we hold up passages such as that as a mirror to how we are, we recognise we fall short of actually your standards. Yet I thank you that you are the God that restores, picks up, helps us. Help us, O oh Lord, to be radically different for you. To have lives that are so attractive that people ask about you.
gracious Lord, wherever any one of us are this day and this week, I pray that you would guide us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love. Grant us those opportunities, I pray, to not only speak different, but to be different. We pray, O oh Lord, for all of our key workers working across such a diversity of sectors. And to name them mean we would miss some of them out. But Lord, I thank you that you know them. So we pray for them. Pray for their protection. Pray for their strength. Pray for your Holy Spirit to be with them. We pray, O oh Lord, also for those who we know are struggling. In whatever way, finance, loneliness, depression, isolation, bereavement. Father, each of us will know somebody and we name them before you now, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for our governments and our leaders. Lord, as they seek to lead our nation into recovery and the easing of the lockdown, grant them wisdom, O oh Lord, we pray. So merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so our set prayer for this day. God our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the pit, sorry, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has called us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. So as our Saviour taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Great to have you join us this day. I'm um, just going to have a, a short uh, video clip, which is just a promotion for our online alpha. So please do watch that or pass that on to somebody. Uh, it'd be great if you wanted to join us and bring a friend along to our online alpha course. But have a, a good day. Stay safe. Keep in contact with each other and keep close to God. So bless you. Bye bye. Hello, my name's Wayne. I'm one of the leadership team here in the parish of Rayleigh. With everyone so isolated at the moment, we thought it would be good to connect with others in the community online. And so we'll be running a course where everyone watches a short film episode about questions around the Christian faith and then chats about it together online. It's called Alpha. Alpha is a great opportunity to explore the big questions of life and to examine the claims of Christianity in a fun, non-pressurised environment. Our online Alpha is starting on Wednesday, June the 10th at 7.30 in the evening and it runs weekly after that. We'll be using a Zoom to run the course and each of the evening sessions will last no more than 90 minutes. So who is Alpha for? Well, Alpha is for anyone who wants to find out more about the Christian faith 
and what its relevance is to our daily lives. It's a safe environment in which to look together at the really important questions about who we are and why we are here. You may never have stepped inside the door of a church or you may have been involved with the church all of your life. Either way, Alpha is for you. Or maybe you have a friend or a family member who you'd like to invite to join you on Alpha. So why not do that and come along with them? To register for our online Alpha that starts on Wednesday, June the 10th, all you need to do is send an email to Tracy Marlow at this address, tracy.marlow at parishofrayleigh.org.uk. That's all for now. So let me just leave you with a brief testimony from someone who's completed Alpha recently and then a short trailer that will give you the flavour of the course. Hello everyone. I can thoroughly recommend the Alpha course. I really enjoyed it and it answered a lot of questions for me about the Bible and about Jesus. I made some really good friends and we've remained friends ever since and it has been four years since I've done it and it has changed my life. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? I had arrived at an answer to the most important issue that we humans ever deal with. Is there a God? And I had arrived there without ever really looking at the evidence. And I was supposed to be a scientist. At 28, uh, I had gotten many of the things that I thought I wanted. You know, my girlfriend was on the cover of magazines, I had a Beamer, and I was so unhappy. It was a realization maybe that I would, I would never find happiness where I was looking for. I think for so many years, you know, I always just strived to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, we'd be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. And I found purpose, I found meaning, I found hope. God took something so broken and made it a beautiful art piece. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. No question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's. We are going on a journey together, an adventure to explore the questions of life, faith, and meaning.